Hey there buddies, welcome to another episode of Scientific AI. I know that you have been completely indulged in laughing with me in episodes conducted by this retarded minion named KN. Whom you are calling retarded, you freak? Why are you doing like this? What did I do to you? Shut up, KN. I know what I'm doing, right? No, I don't. Okay, okay, we can have this fight later. Okay, okay. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to watch Zika virus. But what is Zika virus? Well, Zika virus is a type of virus that is known to cause a birth related defects in pregnant women. So, if uh, a pregnant woman is infected with the Zika virus, she may give birth to uh, a child who has microcephalus. So, what does microcephalus mean? Well, microcephalus means it means underdeveloped brain. That means the child is likely to have a not completed brain and obviously it will be a devastating one, both for the parent as well as for the newborn. So, it's really a devastating one. It does not even, uh, you know, it is not a problem. For the child alone, it is also a problem for the parents who are being infected. It, may, it will cause fever, rashes, conjunctivities, and many things. Uh, so it is now prevent, prevalent in South American countries. Some South American countries, not completely. Argentina is completely out of the border, but it may. Argentina may get this virus. It's uh, highly uh, likely to get it. And also, America, USA is also more likely to get it. So other than that, uh, the other countries are prone to get affected by the Zika virus disease. Uh, except Canada. Canada is now in a, in a position where it cannot be affected because Canada is in a place in which no mosquitoes um, can survive or not to cause those diseases. So, so this disease is in fact transmitted by a mosquito known as, known as Aedes aegypti or Aedes albopictus. In fact, this mosquito is a day time mosquito. What do you mean by daytime? Well, this mosquito is known to cause uh, diseases. Uh, in fact, bites people during daytime rather than nighttime. So it's usually the female mosquitoes. But this mosquito also known to cause dengue, chikungunya, and also Zika virus. So it's three in one. God damn it, what is this mosquito doing anyway? Well, I really hate these mosquitoes. These, these junk retarded idiots are always causing diseases. You know, last year we had Ebola outbreak, this year we had Zika virus outbreak. I don't know what will happen in the future. So the, the increase in disease rate is now more in fact. So forget about this thing. So what's the prevention? What is the precautionary steps, uh, steps that you need to take if you uh, are in these countries? The countries uh, are listed uh, uh, right here. So what are the preventive measures? Well, uh, in South American countries, uh, they have formulated a policy that is if you uh, you know if you are in these countries, uh, you should stop getting pregnant. Uh, it's it's better not to get pregnant in this time uh, that is in the year 2016 and 2017 because uh, Zika virus is known to cause microcephalus. It's known to cause another uh, you know other related diseases that could uh, deform the child. So these countries have formed a policy in which the people are advised not to get pregnant at this time and uh, you know if you are uh, if you have some kind of problems if you have some kind of uh, uneasiness when you're traveling uh, and if you think that you have fever if you have some kind of conjunctivities or something like that like the things that i have showed to you uh, have said to you before if you have these kind of symptoms when you're traveling it's very advisable for you to meet a higher authority or people whom you can trust for example a medical profession in the airport and get treated there itself in fact there's an unfortunate news to say this but uh, because uh, Zika virus is now, there is no treatment, I mean there is no cure for Zika virus disease but it could, it could not be prevented but it can be controlled, that's that's the aim it's, it's like Ebola, it cannot be prevented but it can be controlled so I, you know, last year we had Ebola outbreak and it was completely mind boggling but within the end of 2015, I haven't even heard a single case, I mean I haven't even I have, I have been checking news for a long period of time and I didn't even get any news about Ebola virus. It seems that Ebola virus is now under control, not completely, but under control somewhat. I hope that this Zika virus also will be under control by the end of the year 2016. Uh, scientists from Europe, America, Asia, Australia are now trying to find a cure for the Zika virus disease so that it could be prevented uh, in these countries. And Asian countries have, uh, you know, have uh, have this uh, this law that is uh, for the travelers who are coming from those countries to here uh, they are advised to seek uh, health advice immediately. Z 
Zika virus. In fact, it's a mosquito borne disease. It is in fact water borne disease. And it's just like chikungunya. If a person is getting infected with Zika virus, uh, the mosquito can bite the infected person. The mosquito gets infected and it can transmit the disease to almost all people. So it is advised not to be, you know, not to uh, post on the treatment, but to seek medical attention immediately. So thanks for watching my videos, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button. I hope that this video is quite informative to you. Uh, in some cases, I just list uh, tips and talks. So, if you, in order to cover all the things I have mentioned, all the links, all the important links, all the precautions, the guides that you need to know, uh, in the description below. Uh, all the sources were given by CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. So, thanks for uh, providing this information, uh, CDC. Uh, I hope that this will be very useful for the people uh, who are affected in these areas. So, thanks for watching my videos, guys. Hope to see you next time soon in another scientific game episode. Bye. Be happy. Stay good.